is. Well, there it is. Warcraft Reforge, the collection. How does it work? Well, we got the portraits. You have to complete certain objectives and you should get access. One thing I was curious about, though, is this says on hard difficulty. So if one of these says on normal difficulty, if you completed the prologue, the undead, the night elf campaign, etc, etc, on hard difficulty, do you automatically get the normal, like, completed as well? So you can access this icon or do you have to do it on each of the difficulties to access another point actually is what extra portraits would you like to see johnny in chat just said no pig question mark so yes i would like a pig but obviously you have to do something to earn said pig so something like make uh 10 million gold in game or something like that and then you can have like the pig icon and if you hover over it it will basically say You've made, you know, 3,337 out of, you know, 10 million gold so far. So you just keep earning gold and gold and eventually you'll get that pig. So it could be like a ridiculous number though. Like 1 billion gold potentially. So you have to play a lot to get that pig icon. So obviously you could probably just pick a map maybe. Like a 24 player map. Take every single gold mine. Build 100 peasants and go AFK. <laughs> And make money. Maybe it could be exploited. I don't know how you can... Uh, when it comes to, like, custom-created, you know, uh, portraits, unlockable portraits and objectives, can they be manipulated through custom games, or does it have to be through melee only? Because maybe it detects whether it's only done through proper melee. And obviously there could be uh, portraits that are unlocked through actually beating certain custom games or something like that. But then again, that's very niche, and I haven't fought it through that far. So what we're going to do is we're going to have each of these highlighted. Ah, so if you turn this one on, you can't have that one on. So what I assume is these are toggleable, right? Okay, so if I tick that on, the Farsi is always going to be full. So if I have that off, the Farsi isn't going to be full. Now that's fine for that. But where it gets a bit confusing is when there's like multiple skins for the same character, aka like three. Obviously two, but you know, we're going three here. The Death Knight, that's one skin for the Death Knight. That's one skin for the Death Knight. You know the other skin for the Death Knight? The original skin, right? So if I select this, will she only be available? If I select this, will he only be available? Or will I still have a chance with the original Death Knight to spawn? Because if that's how that works, wouldn't you be disappointed in a way if you selected this and you wanted that, and then you got the option you didn't get an option. So I kind of like, I feel like these kind of need like two selectable options. One is like always on. If you have this ticked, that is always the case. Or there'd be another option where if you tick that, it would be like random. You have a chance for this hero or a, you know, a chance for the normal Death Knight. So what we're going to do is we're going to tick these four skins on. I'm going to play each race. And see how that looks when I build the altar. And we're going to turn these two off, right? Just to see, I guess, if these two ever become available in the altar. If I have them off. So that's the way I think I'm going to treat that. So that's ticked. I'm going to go back and into a one versus one game. Starting off with human. Oh, look at that. The eye got updated. Okay, altar is about to complete for human. Job's done. There's Jaina. Right. I'm trying to think here. She comes out of the gate. Sounds interesting. Her eyes are quite You asked for it. Omega powerful. I can help. There's a lightning shield. I hate resorting to violence. So Jaina has the same voice lines as when she's in the campaign. I can help. So that's absolutely fine. I've got no problem with that. I'm trying to think here. All right, sorry. You asked me. I'm trying to think here. That's curious. What's the plan? I'm no warrior. All I ever wanted was to study. Interesting. Is it me or does the horse have a lot less armor? I'm not sure what the previous horse models look like. I'll take care of it. Sounds good. But maybe they took some note on that. I'll check it out. And therefore, the horse isn't taking all the um, 
Sounds interesting. The glory, so to speak. I did have a dislike for the mounts having too much credit. Sounds interesting. And basically taken away from the main character that's supposed to be utilizing them. What's the plan? That's curious. We're complete. Okay, We're complete. so the altar is complete, and here is your Farseer under the guise of Thrall. My life for the Horde. I am the War Chief. The War Chief is out. Ndavu. It's got voice from the campaign, as you would expect, after seeing Jaina. The spirits are master. Let's see what the spirits are like. No regard, no that would be kind of cool if Frawl's spells got, like, unique skins as well. But I think they are the same. So these are the uh, spirit wolves that you would get from any Farsi. Uh, this poor guy. <laughs> For the Horde. This is brutal. Let's get on with it. She's got the Jaina, so that's another one that's purchased. No Jaina sound for the death noise though. I am the war chief. You are the war chief, and you have spoken. Yes. Let's get on with it. Okay, let's move on to the next then. Summoning is complete. Summoning right, is complete. there he is. The Summon more stand ready. Thy will Summoning be done. is complete. The Death Knight. Oh. What is it now? Is complete. Office is free. No one orders me around. What is it now? Here he is. In all of his glory. Well. Some of his glory. He's lost a lot of it at this stage. He's uh He's looking a little bit corrupt there. Uh, and now I can get out. This is more like Oh, I can't get out. I got debated. Sure you suffer. That was a female sound, wasn't it? What was that noise when it died? Upgrade complete. <laughs> that was a manly scream. I'm not sure about that. Thy bidding, master. He's back. Now? Tread lightly. Speak, fool. Tread lightly. It's almost definitely number Wang. What is it now? GG. No one orders me around. Speak, fool. No one orders me around. It's very pushy. Speak, fool. I was a fool to trust in the light. The Lich King has given me true power. I'll be twice the king my father ever was. Lordaeron will be reborn. Who is this darkness, anyway? No one orders me around. <laughs> it almost looks scared for a moment when he looks forward. It's like... <gasps> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm just seeing it. I don't know if anyone else is seeing that. <laughs> okay, so night elf time. Let's see if Scenarius is on board. And Demon Hunter should not be available, at least the female equivalent. Ah, oh, this guy's. Go to hell. You first. I'm playing Night Elf. Let's see if Scenarius wants to play. Uh, Your building is there you go. So you got the normal Demon Hunter, and it's the uh, TFT icon, so he doesn't have a reforged icon so far. And then there's the Keeper of the Grove, aka Scenarius. The Emerald Nightmare Scenarius. I think I got bigger lag. This time. Oh, 392 Your ping. Is Woo! I felt that. <laughs> you should feel that. I was like, that. you remember that, that I had that game on Echo Isles and it was like 30, 44 ping? Okay. Your building is Your building is oh, hello! So the female demon hunter is available this time. Even with it being toggled off. So that answers my question. I'm going to actually select... No, I'm supposed to go Scenarius here because I haven't actually showed him playing. But there you go. 
we have to assume that is the female demon hunter. And I didn't even have her toggled on. So even if you have her toggled off, and that must be the same for the female death knight, you can still potentially get the female. So that's where they might need to address that situation and provide an option where it's always on or, hey, I accept it being random. Is she a female? Is she a male? I don't know. I don't care. Give that option. That way you can satisfy both types of players. You are building Who dares? Oh, he actually says it. Spirits. Well, we he says the Keeper of the Grove lines. The time is now. So Scenarius doesn't have his own voice lines. He doesn't say, Who dares defile these lands? Who, Who threatens the wilds? Almost. <laughs> Who dares the wrath of Scenarius and the Night Elves? Hey, Blizzard, if you're listening, why so not shall it be. make that his um, initial Naturally. war cry? When he, not his war cry, but the when he comes out. His war cry could be, who dares the wrath of Scenarius? By the spirit. And when he's produced from the altar, Naturally. he says, who the dares spirit. defile these lands? Or, you know, what either way. Or oh, he's very dark. Your building is complete. Is complete. Our warriors have engaged Nature the enemy. is restless. Command me. Is there danger? For Kalimdor, so shall it be. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thumbs up, Nature subscribe, smash that like button. Six million likes on this video. Let's go. So shall it be.